Keep farting, keep living. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ivan Steph and you guys, it's another day, another Jojo Siwa video. I won't lie, as of late, my channel has become a Jojo Siwa fan page. What's not to love about someone who knowingly touches himself on stage in front of kids? Cool, we get it. You're an adult and want to break away from your ex-OMG pop reputation. But you don't have to be reaching down there for your boomerang. So I've made Jojo Siwa think she's Miley Cyrus and Jojo Siwa still thinks she's Miley Cyrus. But the rebrand has had some time to marinate and now Jojo Siwa thinks she's a Polish icon. Her debut EP did not go as expected because it absolutely flopped. It's been two months and just take a look at the amount of streams her four new songs have compared to Karma. Guilty Pleasure, her title track of which had a music video, is only sitting at one and a half million streams, which for someone of her huge following and the amount of publicity she gets is very bad. Very bad. Very, very bad. As you can see in the past month, JoJo's monthly Spotify listeners has been on a rapid decline. But fear not, because recently she actually broke a record. She made a TikTok announcing the top five most disliked music videos by a female artist in 2024, and to no surprise... Our number one first place overall goes to... Considering the fact that Taylor Swift's Fortnite came in second place with 350,000 dislikes, yet Karma has over 3 million dislikes in only a few months, that's impressive. But y'all haters gotta be careful because recently Jojo Siwa was booed while performing at a concert and that's a wrath y'all do not want to feel. Woo! The living just booed me! Where the did I come from? Which one of you? <laughs> Did someone really tell Jojo to beat them up? What's she gonna do? Throw them to the ground and start power thrusting them with her invisible boomerang? <laughs> Funny thing is that without her haters, JoJo's music wouldn't perform nearly as well. Actually, to be fair, it's never performed well. A lot of the views and streams on JoJo's music comes from her haters, but the problem with that is that eventually people get bored. That's why you have people like Lil Pump, who at one time was huge on the charts. And not because he had good music, but because he was a laughing stock who people listen to solely for the memes. But the issue with this type of fame is that eventually the hype will die down, people will get bored, and people will stop paying attention to you completely. Unless you're in Poland, because apparently Apparently Polish people are taking a liking to one of Jojo's songs. Apparently her song, Yesterday's Tomorrow's Today, has been performing pretty well in the country. Also keep in mind that the song, Yesterday's Tomorrow's Today, is the exact same song that Jojo Siwa was knowingly touching herself to in front of kids on stage. Why is that six year old right there? Why the f are you here? I love it! Now whether or not this is true, based on what I'm currently seeing on iTunes Top 100, I can't confirm. As of the time I'm recording, it's not on iTunes Top 100, but there are a few TikToks using her song which have blown up. Hold up, pause. Polish people at weddings and parties? Look, I'm not Polish, I mean according to my ancestry I'm part Polish, but still, I can tell you for a fact that no one in Poland is bumping Jojo Siwa at their weddings or parties. Look, I won't lie, the bass drop is sick, the instrumental is pretty dope, but that's about it. Her song is going viral for the instrumental, of which she gave money to producers to create. Her money is going viral, not her singing. Now my question is, did Jojo Siwa even know the song sounded Polish, or she was Polish for that matter, before the song started doing well in Poland? If she worked with the producers and was like, look, I want the instrumental to sound like this, I want it to sound Polish, then sure. But you can't just hand over money to producers who coincidentally give it a disco polo feel, and then be like, shout out to my ancestors. I bet she didn't even know what disco polo was until people started telling her it sounds like disco polo. So because Jojo's song appears to be doing well in Poland, she recently came out as Polish. I feel like we are witnessing a Danielle Cohen moment. For all of you guys saying that I'm racist because I'm just white, I'm actually half Spanish. 
Isn't the timing convenient that now, out of all days, JoJo decides to come out as Polish? Your song is allegedly trending in Poland and now you decide to say that you happen to be Polish? Yup, it's the perfect time to change your personality and pretend to be Polish for a few days as a marketing tactic. I mean, what a weird way to phrase it. If you say that you happen to be a certain type of ethnicity, then you're not that ethnicity. JoJo didn't come out because she passionately identifies as Polish, but because her song is doing well, so it benefits her. According to my ancestry test, I'm 6% Roma, but you're not gonna see me coming out as Indian and start speaking Punjabi just because India ranked number five in terms of views on my channel this year. And speaking of India, let me put y'all on their sweets because, mm, oh my God. Mm. Before Jojo decided to exploit Poland, I don't think she's ever practiced the culture or even spoken the language. And based on this video of her attempting to sing Karma in Polish, What? Cool, you learned how to use Google Translate. We can make a safe assumption that Jojo is just trying to milk the hype. Now, I don't speak Polish, but according to the comments, not even Polish people could understand what she was saying. As you can see, based on these comments, Polish people are not having it. A lot actually feel insulted with Jojo trying to exploit Poland to make money. Someone really said, biggest offense to the Polish since 1939. Bruh. Sis gets ancestry results and makes it her whole personality. Now, according to some ethnicity website that I found, Jojo Siwa's father is Polish, technically making her 50% Polish. But the thing is, there is so much more than just bloodline. She really is milking this thing like Homelander milking a cow because she recently came forward and announced that she would like to represent Poland at Eurovision 2025. But not only that, according to her, she has had a real conversation with Eurovision about actually representing Poland in 2025. It was going viral in Poland and then someone was like, are you gonna do this on Eurovision? And I initially jokingly replied to the comment saying yes, uh, but now it's actually become a real conversation and Eurovision's into it. Um, we're talking with um, the people in Poland. And the day after she posted this TikTok. But the funny thing about this is that right after Jojo Siwa said all this, Polish broadcaster TVP, which is involved in choosing the country's Eurovision acts, came forward saying it wasn't speaking to artists and hadn't made any decisions about 2025. Yikes, even Poland has had it with Jojo's lies. I'm sure there's a lot of talented artists born and raised in Poland who would proudly represent their country and deserve to do so. Now, if Jojo Siwa were to actually perform at Eurovision 2025, there would be one big problem. They don't allow a lot of tune. You're still, you're still a traitor. Anyways, that's officially gonna do it for my video. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace. Little post credit, I just wanna thank everyone so much for helping me hit 100,000 subscribers. It truly means the world. We are just getting started and I'm so excited for what's to come.